Hi everybody, welcome to Miss TT Gravity's page, Living with Lymphedema. I am here to give you a quick update about Miss TT. My name is Danielle, also known as Danny Girl Diary, on many platforms. Um, Miss TT is my close, best friend and sister. She has been living with lymphedema almost all her life, but was lately diagnosed after the birth of her first child. She is still in the hospital. She is under the weather. She is um, doing very well with her therapy, especially physical therapy. She is making more strides making more efforts in her steps, um, working on getting her legs down. They're getting wrapped as they should be. That is always a plus. She is also having a great support system around her. And that is mostly what everyone needs when you're going through a phase where you're battling something you need a great support system to help you recover because not only is the physical part part of your healing so is the mental and emotional all that works together so she just wanted me to let you know that she's still in the hospital she's been there for three months and she's doing fine she's had a little hiccup but she's okay she wants to let you know that she reads all your comments all your encouraging notes and everything that comes into her she loves it keep it coming because it helps her it does help her she loves the support so just to reiterate she wanted y'all to let her know she wanted me to let y'all know i'm sorry that she's still fighting she's still fighting and you know what? Sis has always been a fighter. Ever since I've known her, she's always been a fighter. And she's going to get through this. Yes, she is. So, for those who don't know, we're just going to recap what lymphedema is. Lymphedema affects the lymphatic system, which helps you absorb fats, helps you with your metabolism, your immune system. And what happens is that those parts of your body, usually in your arms, your legs, your fingers, your toes, um, they don't get any part parts of those places. They don't get operated as they should. They either slowly shut down or they don't work at all. So what happens is that your body, your arms, your legs, your feet, your toes, your fingers, they start to swell up and they may feel heavy. They may not. They may feel numb. They may feel a little thickening you know they don't feel right so those are some of the signs of uh, lymphedema they become how do I want to say it they become to a place where they are no longer operational and it's harder for you to use those digits those arms those extremities your toes your feet you know things like that so you may have a problem walking feeling um standing grabbing things you may have problems with that so with the therapy that is being done for people with lymphedema and with miss tt it's a wrap therapy Part of her therapy is wrap therapy. So they take gauze, they take whatever um, cushioning or I don't, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Um, and they wrap her. And what it does is it pushes the fluid up to the lymph nodes and forces it out of her body, which usually is in the form of urination. Sounds gross, but hey, it's got to come out somewhere. And usually if it if it goes untreated, 
and your legs just swell or your feet just swell, what will happen is you'll get something called weeping, which your skin will break. And you don't want that because those causes infections. And a lot of people with lymphedema, they just deal with it. You see a lot of people out here and you automatically think that it's one thing that it's not. And they, they, they suffer from lymphedema. And you see the discoloration in the skin. And some of them, they are weeping. They do have, it looks like their legs are wet. But the fluid is coming out because they're not getting the proper therapy, which is getting wrapped. Yeah. And it takes a long time. People may, may, will be misdiagnosed for a while. And Toya was one of those people who were misdiagnosed for a long time. As well with other other diseases, but specifically with edema. It's one of them. They just chuck it up to being obese or being something else. Just regular edema. But you, you know... If you don't know, you don't know. Sometimes you have to look up these things yourself and have your doctor look at them. Uh, but yeah, Miss TT is doing well. She's doing fine. And she sends her love and she thanks you for her love that you sent to her. And if you all want to contribute Find a lymphedema foundation. Be proactive. Donate to the cause. Because not only she deals with this, millions of people deal with this every day. It may not come in the form of the severity of Miss TT, but people are born with this. And if we can find a way to better this community, let's do it. Why not? We always want to better everything around us. Let's better people. As always, peace, love, and light. Miss TT, we are praying for you. We are here for you. And we will always keep you in our thoughts and prayers. Okay? Love you. Bye.